Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing WSL on Windows inside a VirtualBox VM. To get started, make sure the VM is stopped, then open the VM settings and select System, Processor, and check the Enable Nested VTX box. With this setting enabled, start the VM. Once the VM boots into Windows, launch PowerShell as administrator. Run the command to install and enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. Once the command completes successfully, reboot the VM. Once the VM reboots, relaunch PowerShell as administrator. Continue with the command to install and enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature. And finally, run the WSL command to set the default version to 2. With all the prep work out of the way, close the PowerShell window and launch the Microsoft Store. Search the store for the flavor of Linux you'd like to run in WSL. I'll be using Debian in this example. Select the Linux distro from the results, then click Install. Wait while the Linux distro is downloaded and installed. Once the installation completes, click the Launch button. Enter a username to use inside WSL. Then enter and confirm a password. Welcome to Windows Subsystem for Linux, running nested inside a VirtualBox VM. 